hello and welcome to another rp tutorial video today in this tutorial video we are going to learn how to extract multiple table data using ai builder so i have created one video where i have shown how to create a model and how to train the form field as well as the table data field so if you have not seen that video so you can go ahead and see that video and the link is available in the description section all right before start i'm requesting you to kindly support us by subscribing this channel and if you think this video is informative then please click on the like button so let's start So let me show you some sample PDF files. So this is the uh, sample PDF where we have uh, some information available like invoice number, invoice date, vendor address, vendor name. And along with that, we have two table, product table one and the product table two. So we can see both the table looks different based on the, uh, the column name. Okay, so similarly, if I go to the other uh, PDF files, so it's it's same only. Only difference is we have multiple table. Although this is very straightforward table, so we'll see how we can extract uh, a data from form field as well as the both table. So let's start now. So I'm going to uh, Power Automate flow. So in order to access AI Builder, you have to click here in this AI Hub. Once you click here, so you can see this AI model option. So if you have earlier created any uh, a model so that will be available here so in previous video we have created uh, invoice data ex extraction uh, example model so that is available here so today we are going to start with the new model so let me click here so the requirement is we are going to get all the information from this pdf and we'll write into a table data which i have already created so so this is the file we are going to store the data so first i have created three uh, different seats okay so in first seat i want to keep all the form field information and here table one data and here the table two data so we will see step by step how it can be done okay so we are going to create the custom model so i will start with this extract custom information from the document and here we will just click on this create custom model option Okay, so this uh, page got open now what we have to do we have to select the document type from here so for us it's a fixed uh, template document so we'll select this one and here you have to just see the demo like you know how it looks and i mean uh, how the fixed template looks like okay so let's click on the next button once you click on the next button it will ask you to add the field so let's add the field based on the information which kept in the excel So we have added the form field and the table one uh, column details. Now let's add the another table. So in case if you have multiple tables, so you have to just specify the field and you have to put uh, the table name. So for our case, it will be product table two. And based on the product table two, we will add all the columns. So here like quantity item code. So we have added uh, uh, the field from both the table and the form field so let's click on the next button okay so now here we have to uh, add a similar type of document at least five sample files to train the model so let's click on this new collections so in case if you have multiple uh, a structure of your document so you can create the collections as much as you want but make sure you have five at least sample files available to train the model so for our case we have only one variant of document so i'll go with this one so let's click here and now we have to add the document so let's get the path okay all the document uploaded successfully now we need to train it so let's click on the next button 
we can see here all the five samples available here and in this place we need to drain it Okay, so we have mapped uh, the information from the first table now let's do it for the table number two so similarly we can do it for all the uh, other uh, four pdf so let's do this okay so here we can see the data looks fine we extracted everything so let's click on the done now let's continue with the next file So we can see when we are mapping or selecting the table the headers are automatically getting uh, mapped so this this model itself is trying to map it only thing is we have to see whether it mapped correctly or not and based on that we have to adjust it so now let's map the row details we have done with all the field and the table mapping but we can see this next button is not enabled so let's understand why it is not enabled so reason is we have kept a field called email although the email uh, address is not present in any of the document okay so if you have noticed here all the document is highlighted with this red dot it means some warning is it, it's giving some warning okay so now if you see this email it's not mapped anywhere because the email address is not present so what we have to do you might get this type of scenario uh, any of the field if you have included in your model but it is not present in the field so what you have to do you have to just click on this four dot and you can see there are two options available okay so you can either go ahead and mark one of the options so for our case not available in the document so the training document which we are using so this email is not available so we'll go ahead and select this so similarly we have to do for other documents so see if you if you see here now this red dot is moved out now so we have to see and check and do the same thing for other document okay so we have done now we can see this next button is enabled now let's click here okay so now we can see this email which we are not using it's saying uh, the information it's highlighting why we have not uh, trained this field so let's click on the train button to train the model so uh, it will take some time to train the model okay let's go to the model so now we can see this is our model now it's the status is showing as training so once this training is done the status will change to trained 
So let's wait and see. Okay, so we can see the status is now trained to uh, change to train. So if you open this model so now, we can see the accuracy percentage or the training percentage here. It's 99%. And also it can uh, give you the high level information on the field level training as well as the table level training. So we can see. So these are the uh, high level uh, accuracy uh, based on the field which we have trained. Okay, so what next? So let's rename this uh, model. So let me click here. So now let's click on publish to publish this model. So one mistake has been made while doing the training. So let's try to understand what is that mistake. So if you see here, we have selected the entire uh, area of the table, including the headers. Although in our Excel files, we have also kept the first row as a header, right? So in that case, if we extract the data like this, it will also get the uh, this uh, header. Okay. So in order to see that, let's click on the preview table. So if you see this, so we can see this line is also coming along with the value. So let's remove this. So what we have to do, so you have to just click on the edit table. Once you click there, you can see right hand side for that particular table, the property is open. So if you see this, ignore the first row because this is the header, right? So if you click this, so it will remove that first row. Another challenge is we, we can see this first row is not getting uh, selected, right? So what we have to do, we have to just select that row. So now we can see we have total of four item available in the table so that we can see it. So this way we need to make changes in all five PDF files for both the tables. So let's do that quickly. Okay, so we have made uh, these changes in both the table for all five PDF files. Now, so whatever changes you are going to do after uh, the training is completed. So again, you have to retrain your model. So we can see this option is enabled now. So let's click on the train. And it will take some time to train the model again because we have made some changes in the training. So it will again uh, 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 inc incorporate those changes into the training itself. So now we can see this training is done. Now let's create a flow to upload a file and get the output from the model, mod model which we have trained. So let's create an instant cloud flow. Select this. The first option is we are going to upload this one of the PDF file which is present in the OneDrive. So let's look for an option called OneDrive. And from here, let's search for option called Get File Content. Okay, so here we have to select the file which we want to upload. Okay, the next step is we are going to use this AI Builder connector to select our AI model. So here we have to select this AI Builder and other uh, under this we have to look for option called extract information from the document. So if you come down, we can see this extract information from the document and here we have to select the AI model which we have created. Okay, now, so this two step will help us on uploading the a document, a PDF file into this model and we can get the output. So once we have the output, we need to get into the Excel file. So now add the step to get those information into the text file. So for that, we are going to use the online Excel option. And from here, we have to look for add row into a table. So 
let's select the file now select the table so field so first we are going to get the field information so these are the field which we need to map it so now supplier name so like this we have to map all the field which is present in both the table and the form field so let's do this so now we are going to add uh, the step to write data into the table one so we are going to use the same action add row into a table and here now we are going to select the table one so we can see here by default this apply to each got added because in the table we have multiple rows available so this is the inbuilt features of power automate flow so wherever it's required to add a loop so automatically it will add that so now we are adding this code and description here so we can see this table 2 and table 1 right so this table 1 and table 2 will help us on identify from which table we want to get the field so there there are some field which is present in both the table so with the help of this table name we can understand this particular field belongs to table 1 or table 2 All right, so we have added all the actions. Now let's save the flow and test it, the output. All right, so it, it ran successfully. Now let's go and see the output. Okay, so we can see uh, let me show you the PDF. So this is the PDF which we have uploaded. So here we have the field details and from the table we have these two records. So it extracted correctly. Now under table 2 which is this product table 2. So where we have six row item. So that is also extracted correctly. So by this way we can extract the data from multiple table so in my upcoming video i'm going to, i'm going to create some more tutorial video based on ai builder and there we will see more complex scenarios such as uh, uh, like you know working with the check boxes or doing some data manipulations so those things we are going to uh, learn in upcoming videos in case if you have any question or suggestion where you want me to create a video so kindly go ahead and post into the comment section or you can mail us at rpa.developers1 at gmail.com i hope this video is helpful and able to make you understand about ai builder multiple table data extraction so thank you for watching this video thank you